Hello everybody and welcome back to another Mario Sluggers League game. So we are back after a brief hiatus. We hope you guys missed us because we missed you. But we're back in action so let's get things going. So first of all, if you didn't see already, the DK Wilds have forfeited their remaining two games of the season. So just in case you don't follow us on Instagram or you're not a member of our Discord, which by the way you should totally go and join, this is the official announcement that they have forfeited the remainder of their games for Season 3. So now there are only four remaining games, and this is the first of the four, with the Battle of the Princesses, the Daisy Flowers, and the Peach Monarchs. So we're going to see a quick three outs here. So we're going to switch over to the Peach, Peach Monarchs on offense. So this is uh, really a must-win game here for the Daisy Flowers. Because now that the DK Wilds have essentially eliminated themselves from the playoffs, there's uh, still going to be one team getting knocked out. And right now the Flowers find themselves as the fifth seed. So if the season ended right now, they would not be making the playoffs. So uh, not to make them feel pressure or anything, but pressure's on. <laughs> So that's going to be another three quick outs. The flowers get things done on defense. And we're going to see the three brown squad come in. So we see the big man Monty makes his return to the lineup here. The flowers GM had been a little sour on him for a while. As uh, he was an all-star last year, but he did struggle towards the end of the season. But he did manage to make his way back into the lineup for this game. So we'll see if that remains for the future. We're going to see Paragoomba getting that fresh bunt. And he will be striking out right here. Peach has been a, a big contender for MVP early in the season as we see Brown Critter hit a dinger. But So Peach has made a good case for being the league MVP this year. Leading her team to the two seed, being a fantastic pitcher. Unfortunately, though, looks like the Flowers batters may be figuring her out. Oh, as we see Wiggler come up to bat. Wiggler, of course, last season's MVP. Let's see if he can get something going here. Oh, as Wiggler gets the star hit deep into the outfield. Oh, but that's going to be caught by Toadette. So the Flowers, or the Monarchs, managed to stop what could have been a very bad situation right there. So we're going to go into the bottom of the second. So we have the big man up to bat. Oh! As he rails that one to left field, and unfortunately it will be foul. And a nice good hit there. Monty Mole seems a little bit disoriented. You know, he hasn't played baseball in a long time. Wasn't in the lineup, then we had the little COVID hiatus. And now we're demonetized. Oh, oh, he made it to second. The big man managed to haul himself all the way over there. Oh my goodness. Blue Toad summoning a demon real quick, but... Wiggler, very, very tall man, very tall man. Wiggler, an underrated defender. So we're going to see Blue Dry Bones. Could this be his time to shine? The Mario Sluggers League is where legends are made in the legend of Drew Blue Dry Bones. Oh, could be happening right now. Close play. Oh, but Brown Critter not going to allow him to get home. And now Blue Dry Bones got a little greedy, and that's going to be a double play. Fantastic defense by the Flowers here. They want to make sure they remain in the playoffs. <laughs> so Brown Critter, very proud of himself. Brown Critter kind of was quiet last season. He was on the Fireballs for a while. But now the former Fireballs, the DK Wild, seem to be out for the season. So I bet he's glad he's here on the Flowers. So let's see if regular old Dry Bones can do some work here. Yellow Toad just too fast in the outfield. So we'll see here if the Flowers can get their bats going here. Peach looking to psych them out maybe a little bit, making them wait. Building anticipation, and here comes the star pitch. Oh my goodness, and that one, almost a beanball, but luckily King Boo swung at that. Even if it would have hit him, he's a ghost, so. Oh, and Hello Mario went for the highlight play. <laughs> Bounced off his head, though. He was hustling, but, you know, the stage is made of ice. A little slippery here. So Boomerang Grow, nice hit to right field, but it will be a foul. <laughs> Easy getting very antsy here. Flowers desperately want to initiate some offense here. Oh, 
as Boomerang Bro just perishes on the plate. All right, so still no score in here. Back from hiatus, and the defense is still as strong as ever. Batters could be a little rusty. Been a while since they've last played the game. Blue Critter, though, gets a nice hit, but unfortunately, Paragoomba will scoop that up. So we'll see. We saw the Flowers get going on offense a little bit. Managed to at least load a couple bases. So far, the Monarchs haven't been able to get some good hits, and there we go. That's a good start. We're going to see Red Shy Guy get on first. Oh, and here we go. Now Peach looking to keep it going. Oh, and everybody falling for Oh, even Wiggler. Oh, no. This is a deep stadium. The ball's still going. Shy Guy's going home. And Shy Guy's going to make it home. Oh, luckily, Monty. Uh, oh, my goodness. There was no remorse behind that <laughs> attack from Monty. But that will be a run here for the Monarchs. So thanks to Peach's fantastic star swing, they net themselves a run. But here we go. Oh. Ah. Uh, Daisy psyched him out, even got him to use a star power on that one. So now the Flowers have to respond. Only two innings left of offense here for the Flowers. Gotta get something going. We got the three brown men back up. So we'll see if one of them can... Oh my goodness. Oh no. Are we gonna see it? Yes we are. Mario has come into pitch. So we'll see if Hello Mario can uh, be a solid relief pitcher here for Peach. As Blue Pianta puts his heart and soul into that play. Oh, and a fantastic hit by Paragoomba, but that will be ruled foul. Oh. And the exact same thing almost just happened again. Oh, and Paragoomba just gonna strike out. Oh, Mario putting on a show here for the fans in Peach's Ice Garden. This is just such a big stadium. Oh my goodness, the laser of a pitch. Oh. Oh, just flexing on them. They're just playing with their food right now. And now the Monarchs have a chance to extend the lead with the man who held them down on defense. Hello, Mario. So we'll see who the Flowers bring in as their relief pitcher. And it will be Paragoomba. His return to Peach's Ice Garden, this time on the opposing team. We'll see if he can make his former team pay here. The mound. Oh! And Daisy is... Oh, the Monarchs are just falling apart here. Daisy gonna... I mean, the uh, Flowers are falling apart here. The Monarchs are thriving. Daisy bobbled that ball. Luckily, Hello Mario seems to be in a bit of a precarious situation. He is running for his life. Oh, and he made it back to first. So let's see if Toddette can get something going. And Hello Mario's just... He's getting greedy. <laughs> he wants to extend this lead here. Toadette gonna watch that one fly by. Oh, he just launched that one. Monty Mole caught falling asleep. Monty Mole just managed to get his way back into the lineup. And uh, his defense has not been, not been the best. It's gonna be another strike. Second strike. And Paragoomba manages to pitch their way out of this. Unfortunately for him, that's only the first out. They still got two more if they want to get back on offense. So this is a very good situation for the Monarchs here. Could extend the lead. Runners on first and second. Blue Toad, who's had a had a couple good games here. Oh, and Monty Mole finally learns how to catch the ball. Oh, and that was oh my goodness. Oh, that was very misguided by the Monarchs. Made him go back when it was a force out. So that was a, a unfortunate miscommunication by the Monarchs on offense there. But luckily for them, this is the Flowers' last chance to score some points. Oh my goodness. And Blue Pianta, he already wore himself out diving for that one ball. Getting this one was asking too much. So we're going to see Wiggler likes to step up in these close game situations. So we'll see if he makes his presence known. Ah, oh, that's going to be a fly ball caught by Toadette. So that's the first out here. Oh, a dinger here by regular Drybones, but just goes foul. 
We're seeing so many good hits just go foul here for the monarchs. Or, sorry, the flowers. They're both princesses. It gets confusing around here. So we're going to see Drybone strike out there. So that's two outs here. King Boo, their last hope. And unfortunately, that will be the game. So the Peach Monarchs take down the Daisy Flowers. And uh, I guess you could say a very close one, since it was a one-score game. <laughs> and obviously, Peach is going to be the MVP here. Peach is... She's making a case to be the actual MVP here for the regular season. So we're going to take a look at the box score. And, oh, this is... Uh, this is definitely going to help her case here. 40 in batting, 25 in pitching, and just not a lot of production here from the Flowers. So we're going to see if the Flowers can get things together before their next game. And we'll see how things shape out to see if they're going to make the playoffs. Things are looking dire for them, though. So thank you all for watching. We're glad to be back, and we will see you Thursday for some more Mario Sluggers action.